Hey guys, it's Drew from Diving Sports and today we're going to talk about some lights. Specifically, we just got a shipment of big blue lights, so I want to talk about a few of those, what we have, what I like about them, give you some information. Big Blue makes a lot of different lights for different situations, so if there's any light that you've been looking at that I haven't talked about, you want me to make a video on it, just let me know. The first one light we have is the 250 lumen narrow beam light. As the name suggests, it's 250 lumens bright. It uses two AA batteries to run it, so we don't really have to worry about recharging it, which is kind of nice. It's good to use in or out of water, uh, unlike some of the more powerful dive lights that get too hot when you run them out of the water. That means it's a good light to have on night dives, uh, especially when you're gearing up and gearing down if you've forgotten your headlamp. I think it is a great little light that comes in a lot of different color options. However, as a serious scuba diving light, I don't think it's going to be quite powerful enough. It's a nice size to have hiking or maybe as a backup in warm water or when you're spearfishing. However, in colder water, deeper dives or murkier conditions, I don't think it's going to have quite enough power and it's not going to be your best option. The next light I have is the 450 lumen light with the narrow beam. Uh, it's almost twice as bright as the 250 lumen, making it a better choice as a backup dive light for scuba or a primary light while spearfishing. It uses three AAA batteries in a little cradle, which is handy for finding replacements wherever you go. However, you are going to be going through a lot of these if you're using it as a primary because it only has about a four hour burn time. It has a ceiling o-ring and a backup o-ring, so you aren't likely to flood it unless you're being super careless, so I like that. Uh, and the switch on the back is nice and easy to find and it's convenient if you're diving in cold water with gloves on. The only thing I'm not totally sure about is the little button on the back. It's in a really good spot to find by feel, um, but I can see it maybe getting damaged because it's not super protected there, so I'd be careful about that. Now the 1300 is a nice little dive light. Its max power setting is 1300 lumens and it has a narrow beam which is great for dark water or cutting through bad visibility. It does have four brightness settings so you can really extend out the battery life if you don't need it on full the entire time. At its brightest it can last for about two hours um, but they say on the lowest setting it can go for up to 20. It has a rechargeable battery, so if you're diving a lot, you can really save on the amount of batteries that you have to buy, so that's nice. It has a really solid aluminum casing, so I wouldn't be worried about cracking or failing easily. And the power button is a little bit more protected on the sides, and it's a little recessed, so it's going to be harder to break on something by accident. I think this is a great primary if you're just getting started, and as you further your dive education, it becomes a nice little backup light because of its power and longer battery life at the lower settings. I found that it also holds a charge really well and it holds up under your standard kind of instructor level of care really well. I had this sitting in the dry suit pocket for a few weeks without checking it and then when I finally got to it, it had no flooding, no corrosion and the battery was still fully charged. The last one I have here is the 2600 lumen light. It's pretty beefy, so right away you can feel the weight of this thing. It's super solid, so I'm not going to be worried about breaking it, um, and it's a really nice bright light for darker, deeper, or murky dives. On full, it has a burn time of an hour and a half, and if you dial it back, it starts to go for up to 15 hours. One thing this light has that the other ones don't is a hard connection to a Goodman handle, either soft or metal, depending on your preference. While the other lights use a common sleeve design, uh, it allows your light to move around a little bit and slide, so I don't really like that. I do prefer the aluminum handle for that reason. For the most part, I also like being able to take my light off uh, and clip it away somewhere else while I'm diving, especially when I'm side mount diving or teaching so I don't blind anyone. That's why I recommend the aluminum handle. I'm gonna leave a link to our website uh, so if anyone's interested in doing a little bit more research on the dive lights, you can go there. And I think that does it for this video. So if you have any suggestions for future videos, you can feel free to leave them in the comments. Hashtag AskDrew, like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.